The first time you hear radio communications at a tower-controlled airport, like this one at Phoenix Deer Valley, the volume of the words, phrases, and jargon can be mind-blowing. What we've done here is take about a 10-minute chunk of time on a busy morning at this Class D airport, and we'll listen to the tower communications while viewing the radar positions of the aircraft as they fly around this airspace. You can do the same thing by using a real-time tracking app like ForeFlight here or FlightAware online. You can listen to some ATC communications in real time as well on the site liveatc.net. We'll type in the airport code in the top left, KDVT, and scroll down to listen to the tower. There are actually two tower frequencies for Deer Valley, one on the north side and one for the south, each one handling one of the two parallel runways. We'll be listening to both at the same time, but aircraft won't be able to or need to hear both, just the one that corresponds to the runway and side of the airport they're using. Let's start off by focusing on that radar target, November 500 Whiskey Tango, which is over midfield for runway 7 left, the north runway. As we'll learn, it's a helicopter that just took off and wants to stay in the pattern. Uh, got there, Whiskey Tango. The Cessna you were following is going to be northeast bound. Uh, additional traffic ahead into your left, crossing to downwind is assessing you'll be following him. Traffic turning downwind is in sight, and we've got the traffic upwind as well. We'll follow the one turning downwind, zero is Thank you. The tower has called out two aircraft for the helicopter, 500 Whiskey Tango, to look out for. The first one, a Cessna, just departed the same runway and is identified as SCA 54. The call sign for this aircraft is Aviator. They'll be departing the pattern to the northeast. Another Cessna is November 266 Lima Alpha and is on a left crosswind to stay in the pattern for runway 7 left. The helicopter is instructed to follow 6 Lima Alpha in the pattern. Air Sun 524, number 1, runway 7 right, clear land. 7 right, clear land, Air Sun 524. Over on the south side of the field, the tower has cleared Aero Sun 524, identified as ASI 524, to land on runway 7 right, and that they're number 1. You might notice two aircraft in front of Aero Sun 524, but they're lined up for the other runway. Aero Sun 835 has just departed runway 7 right. They'll be staying in the pattern, so they should follow Aviator 75, who's joining a right downwind over the 101 freeway. They can turn crosswind as soon as they know they can follow in behind that guy. Much of tower control relies on aircraft seeing and following one another, so the controller's job is to point out traffic and when aircraft report spotting the traffic, to issue instructions to follow it and to report where they are in the sequence of aircraft, such as number one, number two, etc. That's a six Lima Alpha, right seven left, continue, traffic will be holding in position. Six Lima Alpha is on a downwind. Tower is telling them to continue but has an issue to landing clearance as there's a departing aircraft that'll be lining up on the runway in a bit. Holding position, runway 7 left, 2 6 Lima Alpha. 7 left, continue, 6 Lima Alpha. <laughs> Here it sounds like the instructor has corrected a student. The student read back to hold in position, but that wasn't an instruction. The instruction was to continue, as the instructor clarified. Wind check. Wind 110 at 10. An unknown aircraft, likely Aero Sun 524, has asked for wind conditions, which the South Tower has relayed back. Air Sun 301, taxi into ramp 4 via Charlie Delta 8. Have a good day. Charlie Delta 8 to the ramp. Uh, An aircraft that landed on 7 right a moment ago has been instructed to taxi to its ramp on the south side of the airport. Hey, Aviator 54, for exchange approved. Good day. Frequency changes approved. Aviator 54, thanks. Aviator 54 is leaving the area to the east. Tower lets them know they can switch frequencies. You won't always hear this from the tower, and there's no obligation to report leaving the class delta. Let's take stock of the situation. There are two aircraft on downwind for pattern work for 7 left. Another is on short final, and as we heard, the tower intends to line up another departing aircraft, probably after the aircraft that did a touch and go. Aviator 42, who's currently off screen, is out of the way. Over on the south side, we have Aerosun 524 on about a two-mile final, while Aviator 75 is coming up on midfield downwind, and Aerosun 835 is behind them on crosswind. Aviator 75, number two, following an Archer I-17 final. Runway 7 right, clear touch, you go right, close traffic approved. 
Looking for traffic, clear set to go for 7 right, right to close traffic, Aviator 75. Aviator 75 has been cleared for touch and go. They're behind Aero Sun 524, who's over the highway. Aviator 42, straight to partial east through. To east is approved. East departure approved, Aviator 42. Zero speed out there, runway 7 left, line up and wait, traffic's testing down. Aviator 42 has popped up again after their touch and go and will now be departing to the east. Now that he's out of the way, that Cirrus can line up and wait to take off. That's the 6 Lima Alpha, you can turn your base over the I-17. Turning base over the 17, 2 6 Lima Alpha. Aviator 42, free change approved, good day. Free change approved, Aviator 42, thank you sir. There's two dogs here. The Cessna head upwind is in left close traffic outside of him. Your left turn northwest bound is approved. Wind 120 at 9 o'clock. Take off. There's finally a hole in the sequence now with two Lima Alpha having completed their touch and go, and that Cirrus can now take off. We'll see them pop up on the screen soon. This is 6 Lima Alpha, runway 7 left, clear touch and go. Runway 7 left, clear for touch and go, 2 6 Lima Alpha. With the Cirrus rolling on 7 left, the Cessna 6 Lima Alpha can be cleared for a touch and go. Air Sun 835, number 2, follow the Cessna head, turning base, runway 7 right, clear, touch and go. Number 2, 7 right, clear, touch and go, follow that traffic, Air Sun 835. Back on the south side, Air Sun 835 has been cleared, touch and go behind Aviator 75 over the 17 freeway. Uh, got there with Tango, runway 7 left, clear for the option, number 2. Number 2, runway 7 left, clear for the option, Zero Whiskey Tango. And the helicopter Zero Whiskey Tango has been cleared for the option. In other words, they have the option to land full stop, do a touch and go, a low approach, or a stop and go landing. Air 524, remain this frequency, turn right, Charlie 6, taxi to ramp 4 via Charlie Delta 8, have a good day. Right, Charlie 6, uh, ramp 4 Delta 8, Aerosun 524. Aerosun 524 is landed and is being directed to their ramp on the south side. This is Lima Alpha crossing your discretion, uh, you're not following anyone currently. Our discussion to Lima Alpha. Deer Valley Tower, Skylark 6738 Echo is uh, 10 to the southwest, 2,500 inbound landing, Romeo. Skylark 6738 Echo, Divide Tower, and a right base from a uh, 7 right. Roger, right base. A new aircraft, right, the Skylark, echo. is approaching from the southwest and has made its initial call to Deer Valley Tower, relaying its position, altitude, intentions, and the current ATIS information. Tower has assigned a right base for 7 right. We'll see this aircraft on screen as it gets closer. Skylark 38 Echo, do you park on the north or south side? Uh, north side, sir, uh, ramp 5, please. Skylark 38 Echo, uh, just to verify, you said north side, ramp 5 is actually on the south side. I'm sorry about that, yeah, I'm southeast hangars, so uh, yeah, south side, uh, ramp 5, please. Skylark 38 Echo, roger. So just some conversation there about where the Skylark is going after landing. It's always a good idea to have this information planned out and briefed so you can let tower or ground know. It'll make it easier for them to give you instructions. Meanwhile, all our aircraft are slotted through the pattern here. The only one on screen leaving is that Cirrus 2 Delta Sierra. That's 2 Lima Alpha, follow helicopter on a half mile final, runway 7 left, touch and go number 2. Look for that helicopter, 7 left, 2 Lima Alpha. Cirrus 2 Delta Sierra, no observed check for you, for exchange proof, have to flight. Notice we see those touch-and-go aircraft pop back up on screen without hearing anything. Once cleared for a touch-and-go, there's no need to communicate your takeoff intentions with tower. That's implied in the clearance. Deer Valley Tower, Zero 357, uh, holding for runway 7 right at Charlie 1, ready to depart. Aerosun 357, Deer Valley Tower, stand by. An Aerosun wants to depart and is holding short. Tower tells him to wait. Deer Valley Tower, Hawk Zero Whiskey Tango on the go. I know you're busy, but if you've got room, we'd like to do a short approach. Uh, no problem. Keep it uh, in tight with the Cessna ahead of you. I'll put you in front of him for a short approach. Roger, we'll keep it in tight, Zero Whiskey Tango. Thank you. The helicopter has just landed on 7 left and is in the takeoff again. And as it takes off again, requests a short approach from the tower. Helicopters are able to fly a tighter, faster pattern than fixed wing aircraft, and this is what the helicopter is requesting. Tower will move them inside the Cessna 6 Lima Alpha, currently in the pattern for that runway. There's on 357, fly straight out, runway 7 right at uh, full length, clear for takeoff. Fly straight out, 7 right, clear for takeoff, Aerosun 357. Notice Aviator 75 is departing, so Aerosun 357 is good to take off on 7 right. Back to the 6 Lima Alpha, I'll call your base. 
You'll call our base, 6 lane alpha. Normally, the aircraft in the pattern will fly their own crosswind, downwind, and base legs, awaiting landing clearance. But since the helicopter is going to cut inside 6 Lima Alpha, Tower is telling them to hold off on turning base until instructed. Skylark 38 Echo, proceed at northbound and join about a 2.5 mile straight in for 7 right, please. Uh, roger, uh, turning northbound and then 2.5 mile straight in 7 right, 38 Echo. The Skylark, who we still can't see yet, is being turned northbound so that they're not proceeding direct to the field. The controller is attempting to work them into the sequence with other aircraft in the pattern for 7 right. Follow the Cessna heading to right crosswind. Follow that traffic, Cessna 35. Helicopter zero with King. You're going to follow Cessna at about a half mile final. Runway seven left. Cleared uh, for the option number two. Short approach through behind the Cessna. Traffic in sight. Number two for seven left. Zero is Kitango. Air Valley Towers. King, uh, Bonanza three one six Papa Bravo. Anthem Romeo for landing. Bonanza 3 and 6 Papa Bravo, the tower left base, 7 left. Left base, 7 left, 6 Papa Bravo. A new aircraft, the Bonanza, is making their initial call to land at Deer Valley. It's always helpful to inform tower of your position and altitude on first call, but as it's clear the tower controllers have use of radar, it doesn't seem to make assigning a pattern entry any more difficult. There's Sun 357 outside the uh, Archer heading to right in the crosswind right down the departure to West Proof. Crosswind to West Proof, following traffic, Aerosun 357. Aerosun 357 has popped back up. They'll be leaving the pattern, flying a downwind behind Aerosun 835 and continuing to the west. This is 6 Lima Alpha, turn base, runway 7 left, clear touch and go. 6 Lima Alpha, turning base, clear for touch and go, 2 6 Lima Alpha. That helicopter is landing soon, so 6 Lima Alpha can make their base turn and is cleared. Aviator 75, continue to downwind, you're going to follow Skylark at your 12 o'clock at about 3 miles around the base. So our Skylark has entered the dance floor. Aviator 75 will follow them. Looking for traffic, Aviator 75. Skylark 38 Echo, number 1, runway 7 right, clear land. Number 1, clear to land, 7 right, 38 Echo. Just 2 Lima Alpha, continue straight out, I'll call you cross. We will continue straight out, you'll call the cross in 2 Lima Alpha. Aviator 75, do you have the Skylark ahead into your right in sight? Traffic is inside, Aviator 75. Aviator 75, number 2, runway 7 right, clear, touch and go. Touch and go, 7 right, Aviator 75. Tower wants Aviator 75 to follow the Skylark, but they can't do that unless they report having them in sight. So once the tower gets this information, they can clear them in behind the Skylark. Uh, 2 moving Malvo requesting uh, one more touch and go, and then an eastbound departure. Uh, the Scott's sale. Roger. Zero Whiskey Tango, if we can, we'd like one more short approach and then a departure eastbound. Okay, Zero Whiskey Tango, Roger, you're following Cessna on a mile, final crosswind, your discretion. Crosswind, our discretion, looking for traffic, Zero Whiskey Tango. The helicopter will be doing another tight pattern. Tower is going to put them behind the Cessna, 6 Lima Alpha, currently on final for 7 left. And the 6 Papa Bravo begins slowing, you're going to follow helicopter, we'll be doing a short approach for uh, option. Slow it, 6 Papa Bravo. We can't see the Bonanza yet, but it'll be popping up in the top left of the screen soon. Bonanzas are considerably faster than anything else currently in the airspace, and controllers need to know this for sequencing. The Bonanza will need to slow up to be able to get behind the helicopter. This is 2 Lima Alpha, turn left crossing. Turning left crossing, 2 Lima Alpha. Okay, there with Tango, runway 7 left, clear for the option number 2, following the Cessna short final. Traffic in sight, 7 left, clear for the option 0, with Tango. Tower 835, we're still following the Cessna in front of us. Tower 835, affirmative number 3, follow the Cessna head, runway 7 right, clear, touch and go. 7 right, clear, touch and go, uh, number 3, Tower 835. So over on the south side of the field, the plane sequence goes Skylark 38 Echo, and then Aviator 75, followed by Aerosun 835. Aerosun 357 is climbing above the pattern and leaving to the west. Aerosun 357, free change of route. Aerosun 357, thank you. And the 6 bar Bravo, the helicopter you're following is midfield. Remember, 7 left, clear to land, number 2. Clear to land, 7 left, number 2, for 6 bar Bravo. And 6 bar Bravo, you're number 1. 6 bar Bravo. 
So Steely Malfa follows Bonanza at your two o'clock in or crushing twelve o'clock in about two miles. Remember seven left, clear touch and go number two. We got that uh, Bonanza in sight uh, for C2 Lima Alpha, 7 left, touch and go. Skylark 3, Echo, turn right at Charlie 6, and then uh, taxi to ramp 5 via Charlie Delta 10, remain this frequency. Have a good day. Okay, roger that, sir. Charlie 6, and then ramp 5, uh, Delta 10 uh, to ramp 5. Great Echo, thank you. With you. Our Skylark has finally landed and has given instructions to taxi to their hangar on the southeast side of the field. Meanwhile, the other aircraft are landing. It's a busy session at Deer Valley, but this is a good exercise in hearing what to expect from tower. You could do this exercise yourself using real-time flight tracking and live ATC. Try to put yourself in the role of one of the aircraft and anticipate what you need to say and what you'd expect tower to tell you. The more you do this, the more your situational awareness will expand.